Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. David Pendleton here covering hole number 13 of the Korean Classic Tournament. I do have the hole in one to show you. We're going to spend a little bit more time watching this video than normal because I practiced this hole nine times to find the right setup. And during all nine times, I did not have a single opponent pick up a hole in one. So I think people are going to struggle on this hole. So if you pick this up, a big, big advantage on your scorecard. Right off the bat, you can go 3.9 back, one bar a side spin to the left, which you'll see here. Then I'm going to move my blue ring to the top of the rough line, and I'm trying to find the right position. You'll see here in 2.5 mile per hour, I am just barely aiming to the left-hand side of the flagstick. This is almost a center of the flagstick, but I'm just barely favoring the left-hand side. You'll see this ball comes in nice speed and drops for the hole in one. Here's the confusing part about this hole, and this is why it took me so many shots to get this figured out. As the wind increases, you're going to have to move your target the same way the wind is blowing. Normally, we do opposite. So here the wind is blowing to the right. We would normally offset to the left, but not on this hole. We have to offset to the right, which is really strange. So you're going to notice here that a 4.0 mile per hour wind I'm putting my ball guide line entirely in the cup for the most part, but this time it's the right-hand side of the flag stick. And then stay tuned for one more replay, which is going to be even higher wind. I'm pretty excited because once I figured this hole out, I dropped it on both of my accounts in real mode, which I desperately needed, so I finally hit a perfect shot when it counts. You'll see here again, this is pretty much a dead center drop. With an, offset, with an offset to the right. Now the next one is 4.4 mile per hour wind. So this is only, oh, I'm sorry, four and a half. So this is the max that you can get in rookie with a navigator ball. You'll notice here again, I'm bumping this over to the right. This time, you'll see here that I've got half of my ball guideline in the cup, half of my ball guideline on the green. So just a little bit of a smidge to the right from where I played at 4.0. And you'll see here, this is in real mode, not practice. And this is just me guessing off that practice shot where I dropped it at four and I guessed right. So I thought maybe with the higher wind push, just to move it over just a smidge. And here we go, another ball, um, basically center of the cup for a hole in one. So that shot should be pretty darn consistent as long as you can find the right landing spot. All right, everybody, that is going to be hole number 13. Please subscribe, please hit the thumbs up. See you soon for hole 14.